you. We are embarking on a journey into the world of homeopathy and shining a spotlight on homeopathic medicine with the unique healing properties. So yes, I'm talking about Sarsa Parilla Office Analysis. So if you are curious about homeopathy or seeking natural alternate zones, then this video is definitely for you. So watch this video till end for more knowledge and stay connected with us for more informative videos like this. So join me as we unravel the characteristics, indications and potential benefits of Sarsaparela office analysis in homeopathic medicine. So let's talk about Sarsaparela. So Sarsaparela office analysis is derived from a plant that is Smilex officinalis and it is also known as rice. It belongs to the family Smileaceae. The dried rhizomes of this plant undergoes potentization, which is a process to prepare homeopathic medicine by which the medicinal properties of a crude substance are aroused. Then it gets converted into a very beneficial homeopathic medicine that is Sarsaparilla officinalis. It is an important medicine for managing certain complaints of urinary system, mainly cystitis and kidney stones. Now next we'll talk about the constitution of Sarsaparilla. So it suits children with enlarged abdomen and have facial contour like an elderly person. Next, it suits well persons who are thin, weak and look older than their age. Next, we'll talk about a drug action of Sarsaparilla. So main action of this medicine is on the urinary organs, genitals and skin. And besides, it also acts on the head and limbs as well. Next, we'll talk about the clinical indication. So sarsaparilla can be used for cystitis, kidney stone, bladder stones, kidney pain, nephritis, cracks on the hand and the feet, skin rashes, spermatoria, genital herpes, swollen spermatid cord, headaches, painful menses, cancer of the breast, bone pain and joint pain. So these are the various conditions where sarsaparilla can be used successfully. Now, in order to make it understandable to you people, now one by one, I will be explaining each and every indication in an elaborated manner so that you can understand it very well. So let's talk about scope of Sarsaparilla as a homeopathic medicine. So its first action is on the urinary organs and it is chiefly used for cystitis, kidney and the bladder stones, nephritis and kidney pains. So let's talk about it. So Sarsaparilla, Sarsaparilla has marked action on the urinary system and help to settle many issues related to it. The main indication to use this medicine is intense pain and burning at the end of the urination. The pain may extend from the urethra to the abdomen. There is a frequent and ineffectual urge to pass the urine. The bladder is sensitive, tender and distended. Cramp and contractive like of pains are felt in the bladder. Sarsaparilla or Parilla also work well in the cases for treating cystitis, which means inflammation and the infection of the urinary bladder. It can handle both recent as well as chronic cases of bladder infection, kidney stones and bladder stones. It is mainly indicated for the renal stones with the right-sided kidney pains that extend downwards. Urine contains red, white or grey sand like particles. Blood may also pass in urine. And next, it can also be given in the cases where urine flow is weak and urine passes is thin. Fever streams, a person is able to pass the urine freely only in standing position. But it revels while urinating in sitting position. Urine is scanty, slimy, turbid, sandy, and may have pus and blood. It also relieves complaints of painful urination in the children. The child needing it screams out of pain before and during passing urine. Now, next use of sarsaparilla is for the skin complaints like cracks and skin rashes. So, let's talk about it. So sarsaparilla has marked affinity to treat various skin issues. The foremost indication to use it is cracked skin of the hand, fingers, feet and toes. Cracks can be deep attended with pain and burning sensation. The cracks are mostly visible on sites on finger, of fingers and toes. The skin is also very dry and hard. Skin complaints that occur in summers can be magnificently dealt with it. Another indication to use it is skin rashes in the spring season. It can also be given for skin rashes or eruptions which is dry and itchy from exposure to open air. The next use of sarsaparilla is for the male problems like blood in the semen, herpes, balanitis, seminal emissions. Let's talk about it. So this medicine can effectively treat some male problems also. The most important indication here is blood in the semen. And sarsaparilla is prominently indicated to for the genital herpes, which is an STD, and it is caused by herpes simplex virus. When eruptions are present on the prepuce, which is a foreskin, 
and it can also be used for balanitis cases in which there is an inflammation redness of the glands another striking feature to use this medicine is seminal emissions along with the along with the sexual dreams weakness and pain in the back are the other accompanied symptoms and sarsaparilla acts well to manage itching on the scrotum and after scratching small pimples small pimples appear which oozes a moist substance and lastly it is a very valuable homeopathic medicine to manage pain in the spermatic cord after emissions use of arsaparilis for the fe female problems like cracked nipples scantimensis painful menses and breast cancer so let's talk about it so for the female this medicine is very beneficial to heal the cracks of the nipples scanty late menses painful periods and it is used for late and scanty menses there may be soreness on the thighs and itching eruptions on the forehead it is helpful to relieve painful menses there is a pain in the lower abdomen back and a thigh vomiting or loose stool attend it and sarsaparilla is an important medicine to heal the eruptions on the face that are worse during menses as for the homeopathic medicine as per the homeopathic therapeutics its use is also indicated for managing cases of breast cancer the use of sarsaparilla is on the head that is headache and is for the head the next use of sarsaparilla is for the head complaints like headaches and eruptions let's talk about it so by acting on the head sarsaparilla can help to manage headaches and eruptions on the scalp the characteristic to use it during headache is pain in the back of the head that is occiput radiating either to eyes or to the rose, root of the nose a tight blend is felt around the head it can also be given for throbbing pain in the head nausea or sour vomiting may attend with headache and use of this medicine is also considered where there are moist eruptions on the scalp with the first discharge which causes inflammation wherever it touches the eruptions are marked on the forehead scalp is sensitive to touch and falling of the hair may be noted the last section of sarsaparilla is on the limbs for joint pains and bone pains so let's talk about it so it's mainly indicated to treat joint and bone pains it is useful for treating stitching pain in the joints of arms hand fingers which get worse from motion sarsaparilla is beneficial for managing knee joint pain attended with swelling heat and tenderness pain can be felt in both knees at the same time or it can alternate between two sides it get worse from movements especially going up and down a staircase besides it can check pain in the bones that get worse at night and in the damp weather these are the various conditions where sarsaparilla office analysis can be used successfully next we'll talk about the doses so it can be used from low to high potencies if using it in low potencies its repetition can be done frequently but in higher potencies frequent repetition is usually not recommended so that's all for today if you find this video informative helpful and especially valuable so please give this video a thumbs up and subscribe to our youtube channel and hit the notification bell for more insights into the world of homeopathy and natural healing so thank you so much for joining me on this exploration of sarsaparilla in homeopathic medicine so take care until next time see you guys in the next video till then stay safe and stay healthy and if you are suffering from any of the health issues you can contact us for online appointments on the screen you can see how to contact us so that's it for now and thanks for watching this video